All right, all right. What's up, everybody? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are and what time it is where you are. Thanks for stopping by to English vocabulary and pronunciation. I make three new videos every week just for you to improve your English communication skills, covering all types of topics for English, just for you. How cool is that? Yeah? Anyway, today's topic is small talk. We've covered some small talk, some small talk tips recently. And today I want to give you some specific questions, specific topics that you can use to make small talk conversation easier. I know that in your language, in your first language, English is not your first language, English is another language, second or third. In your native language, communication, small talk, it's easy. It's easy because you're comfortable, you're confident, you know the vocabulary, you know all of the topics you can and cannot talk about. But in English, it's not as clear. It's not as easy. It's not as straightforward. So this lesson is just to give you some tips, some advice, some suggestions on things that you can discuss, ways to ask questions. So I'm going to give you a short list of topics to use that are really good in any situation, and also a short list of topics to avoid topics that you don't use or discuss unless it's a very special situation, but mostly just to avoid. Okay, so let's get started. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below in the comment section. I'll get right back to you. Please like this video after you see it. I'm sure you're going to love it and subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the subscribe button. It helps me. It helps me help you. How's that? Okay, so today's topic is 20 plus. There's more than 20, but it's 20 plus great small talk questions. First thing I want to review is great small talk topics. I put these in green because you get the green light. It's okay. So one, work. You could talk about work. Two, entertainment. Three, food. Four, travel. Five, life story. This one is so-so, but if you know somebody a little bit better, if you know somebody well enough, you could talk about their background, their history, without being too nosy or intrusive. Other safe topics are weather, sports, news, current events, things like that. But today I'm going to cover the first five. The first five on this list, and I'm gonna give you examples of questions for all five of these topics, work, entertainment, food, travel, life story, all very safe, all very cool to talk about. Before I get into those, I want to review five, six, actually six topics to avoid. Do not talk about religion unless you're in a religious situation. If you are with your other religious friends, then sure. In different cultures, we view religion differently. And in some cultures, many cultures, it's, it's not a safe topic because people have different opinions and different levels of passion and dedication and commitment. So it's best to avoid talking about religion. Number two, same thing, politics. People have different opinions, sometimes very passionate, strong opinions about politics to avoid any kind of confrontation, argument, disagreement. Try to avoid speaking about, talking about, asking about politics. Number three, financial stuff. How much money do you make? Stuff like that. Anything financially related, related sorry. You're like your investments, income, financial stuff. It's not good for small talk. If you're talking to people in a financial setting with the financial group, then sure. But best with strangers or with uh, acquaintances to avoid financial topics. Number four, sex. Don't talk about sex. 
I don't know what else to say about that. I think that's common sense. But again, it depends on where you are, who you're with. Number five, death. Death is a bad topic to talk about. Try to avoid that. And number six, age. How old are you? How old are you? Don't, don't talk. It's best not to talk about how old somebody is. Again, if it's in a situation where you're in a group of old people and there's age related topics that are important, then maybe age is important, but otherwise in casual conversation, avoid talking about somebody's age. Okay. So let's get started with the first five. I'm just going to give you some example questions. There are literally millions of questions that you could ask that you could use for conversation. In English, there are no limits to things that ways that you can structure a sentence or a question or form a topic. I'm just giving you some simple suggestions. So the first topic is work. I'm just going to read these. I'm going to read these questions the way that I would ask them in a casual conversation. So first question, if you weren't working here, what would you probably be doing now? What would you probably be doing now? So you can ask somebody about if they're, if they weren't doing their current job, what would they do? What would you do? Next one. How did you become a, an engineer? How did you become a police officer? How did you become a doctor? This goes back to small talk advice. Show interest, be interested, ask questions. How ask how question next one. Sorry about this back up. Number three, second, uh, how, how did you become blank? Next one. What surprised you the most about your current job? Do you see that I have words highlighted in yellow? These are to help you remember the general idea of the question. So what surprised you the most about your current job? What did, what did you think it was going to be compared to what it is? What was surprising? What didn't you know or understand before you started your job? Next one is if you were guaranteed to be successful, what job would you want guaranteed to be successful? I would be a, what would I be a baseball player or a rock and roll star guaranteed to be successful? Cannot fail. What would, what would you want? Next question. What was your first job? What was your first job? How did you get started? Did you like it? Last question about work. What's the best career advice you've ever received or best career advice you can give me career advice. Give me some advice about work, job, career. It's helpful. It's useful. I want to know. I want to learn. Next topic is entertainment. Very safe topic to discuss entertainment. Talk about books. Are you reading any good books right now? I'd love some recommendations. How about shows? Shows, TV shows, Broadway shows, but you can ask about books, ask about shows. Next question. Are there any apps on your phone that you can't live without? So apps, books, shows, apps. Okay. Apps are always good to talk about because there's so many. And a lot of times there's great apps that you've never heard of unless they're suggested or discussed by somebody else. You get, uh, they get popular through word of mouth. Next one. If you can only watch one genre of movies, what's a genre genre means category genre genre could be action. Genre could be romance or scary movies or comedy. Those are genres. So if you can only watch one genre, basically it's asking what's your what's your favorite genre? What's your favorite type of movie category of movie? Okay. So we're talking about books, movies, shows, apps. Next one is podcast. Do you have any podcast suggestions? So an app and a podcast, you can find them kind of the same way. But a podcast is like a radio program that's on your phone. 
and you usually listen to it through an app. So ask about podcast. And then Instagram, who's your favorite person to follow on Instagram? First of all, do you follow Instagram? If the answer is yes, who do you follow? Who, who do you suggest I follow? All right, so that's entertainment. Next category is food. Food, everybody likes food. It's easy to talk about too. It's a very safe topic. Food, first question, if you could only eat one thing for the rest of your life, what would it be? One thing. Then that's a good way to have like a, like a, uh, not a, not a, a challenge, but like a debate, not an argument. Just, oh, I would never eat that. Why would you eat that? That's crazy. So you have a topic to talk about. Next one. What's the weirdest thing you've ever eaten? If you've traveled, when people travel, they go to different countries and they eat different foods that they're, that are not normal in their country. So like if I go to Thailand, people eat, eat scorpions in Thailand, grilled scorpions. I have never eaten one, but I could talk about all the different things I've seen. I see lots of weird food where I live. Next is what's your go-to comfort food? Go-to means your, your first choice. Comfort food, food that makes you feel happy and comfortable, like home. Comfort food. For me, it might be meatloaf and mashed potatoes and pumpkin pie, comfort food. Are there any foods that you absolutely would not eat? And the answer is yes, there's lots of stuff. Traveling through, living in Hong Kong, traveling in Thailand, Vietnam, you see lots of foods that you say, oh, I would never eat stuff like that. You can ask, what are the best cheap eats? Cheap eats means cheap food, cheap restaurants, good value, good value, cheap eats. What's the best cheap eats around here? You can ask, what's your favorite restaurant that other people don't tend to know about or just favorite restaurant in general? All right. So all of these questions are about asking somebody else what they prefer, what they like, what they suggest, what they recommend what they've tried, what they would never try. And it all falls under the category of casual, safe, small talk. Next section is travel, my favorite topic. I love to travel. If you could fly anywhere for free, where would you go? So you could fly anywhere and it doesn't cost anything, where would you go and why? Why? What's the coolest road trip you've ever been on? In America, we used to take lots of road trips. Road trip is just when you drive someplace. You don't fly or take a bus or a train. You drive and you can drive across the country. So that's called a road trip. What's the coolest one you've ever been on? Next question, what's the last place you've traveled? Where did you go most recently? What did, what did you do there most recently? I was just in Vietnam and I rode a motorbike all over the coastline and through the mountains. It was awesome. What's the next trip you have planned? Next trip. So last trip, next trip. Last vacation, next vacation. Last holiday, next holiday. Easy things to talk about, easy to remember. And finally, this would be the last category. And this is life story. You want to be careful not to get too personal. Don't be too personal. But if you feel comfortable with the person that you're talking to and you feel like you could ask deeper questions, then you can ask things about their life, their history, their background, their story. Where did you live before this? That's safe. What are the biggest differences you see? So I live in Hong Kong, but I came from the US. So I can talk about all the differences between the US and Hong Kong. What did you do? What did you think you were going to be growing up? So you can ask about when you were growing up, what type of job did you think about? We all use, we always have ideas and then those ideas change. Those desires change. What did you want to be versus what you are now? Next question. Do you have any hidden talents or surprising hobbies? What do you like to do that I, that it might be unusual or that most people don't know about? Another question is what was your favorite extracurricular activity? What's extracurricular mean? That means like 
you're in a club, you're in a group, you're in an organization, um, you volunteer. Extracurricular means outside of school, um, but still something enjoyable that is kind of, a lot of times schools have, it's in school, but it's not classwork. It's like, uh, like a club, like a French club, something like that. Next question, what's the most unbelievable thing that's ever happened to you? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I can't even start to answer that question. So many things. Who's the most important role model you've ever had in your life? Role model or mentor? Somebody you look up to. That's a good topic. Somebody you look up to. And the last question is, what's the best piece of advice you've ever received or a piece of advice that you can give me? Advice. So again, as you, as you go through these, all I've put in yellow, I've highlighted in yellow, like keywords, so that when you go back through this, and hopefully you will, you can look at these keywords and then it makes these things easier to remember. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me. That is it for today. I always enjoy sharing my observations and my advice with you related to English and how you can improve as an English speaker. Please subscribe to the channel. I hope you like this video. Please share with other people if you think the, they might find it useful and keep checking back. I make three videos a week. I always say three new videos a week just for you, not for anybody else, just for you. And I hope you're finding value and getting enjoyment out of improving your English. One step at a time. It's not easy, but if you study and practice a little bit each day, your, your English will definitely improve. So until next time, take care. It's great to see you again. I hope to see you soon. And we'll see you again later. Take care. Bye-bye. See ya.